Here we have another example of solving, evaluating and solving a, a formula. This one says A equals one half H times uh, small b plus capital B. This is actually the formula for the area of a trapezoid. And the reason that we have two b's, if you're not familiar with that, um, a trapezoid kind of looks something similar to this. It can be shaped differently, but uh, the key and important parts to this are we have a height that um, goes between the two parallel sides. So that's our h here. And the parallel sides are what we call the bases. We have a smaller one and a larger one. So that's where all of these variables are coming from. All right, but what we have to do, we don't really need to know that for this exercise. Uh, that's just kind of a bonus. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate and solve for the missing variable. So here we have, they've told us that A equals 91. So I'm going to replace A with 91. And then they've also told us that H equals 7. So I can replace the H with 7. And then they gave us that the small b is 12. Okay, let's rewrite this formula using those numbers. So we would have 91 equals 1 half times 7 times the 12 plus b. Now at this point, there are several different ways that you could approach this problem. As long as you're using valid math rules, then there are a lot of different ways you could do it. We could distribute the 7 first if we wanted to. And if we did that, then we would have to remember that our answer is still being multiplied. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about with that. We could distribute our 7 to get 91 equals 1 half, now that's still times, and distributing the 7, we would have 7 times 12, uh, which would be 84, plus 7 times b would be 7b. Now we still have a, um, a multiplication there. So at this point, we could distribute again. Now I show this because we would have to be very careful about you know, keeping parentheses around this um, because of still multiplying by more than one term. So if I multiplied uh, by the 1 half, I would have 91 equals 1 half of 84 would be uh, 42, and 1 half of 7b would be 7 halves b. Now, at this point, I could subtract 42 from both sides. So if I subtract 42, then we would get uh, 91 minus 42. Let's see, what would that be? That would be nine, 49. So 49 would equal 7 halves b. And then to get b alone, we would have to divide by 7 halves. Or another way to think about that would be multiplying by 2 over 7 so that everything would cancel. And over here on the left, 7 would go into 49 7 times, and 2 times 7 would be 14 equals b. Now, that's just one way of looking at that. Uh, we could do it another way. We could say 91 equals 1 half times 7 times 12 plus b. Because 1 half is being multiplied to everything here, we could do the opposite of that to get rid of it first and not have to worry about any fractions. So I could multiply by the reciprocal, because 1 half times 2 is 1, those cancel out. 2 times 91 would be 182 equals 7 times 12 plus b. And now again, at this point, we have some options. We could distribute and then solve for b or we could even undo the multiplication. So there's a lot of different options. Let's go ahead and let's distribute through first. So we would have 182 oops, equals 7 times 12 would be 84 plus 7 times b. And then we could subtract 84 from both sides to get 98 equals 7b and then dividing both sides by 7, we would still get 14 equals b.